Now joining me in studio to discuss this further is political analyst K.F. Melindy Jr., also international political analyst Dr. Charles Sinkala, and legal expert Tapiwa Diamond. Very good morning to you, sirs. Thank you so much for joining me here on ANN7. Let's start, uh, first of all, with, let's go to you, doctor. Let's start, first of all, and see what does this mean for Zimbabwe? Um, it means a lot to Zimbabwe, um, largely, and uh, we can witness that uh, how the happiness of uh, uh, all the Zimbabweans and including the international community are happy for the uh, regime change and the transformation. Um, but uh, a lot of things has to be desired of what is expected to be uh, coming from, from uh, a man who's been with uh, uh, Robert Gabriel Mugabe, the former president, for over the uh, past 40 years, almost 40 years. Actually, they were together for over 50 years because they were together in prison and that's how they started working together. And uh, they were, um, um, uh, Mr. Emerson uh, uh, was the vice president and he held a lot of positions into Mugabe's regime. And between that time, he was uh, tasked actually to do uh, all the works of what has happened to Zimbabwe at the moment. So um, um, that's the expectation from the people that uh, we only hope that uh, he changes that direction, that he does not repeat of what actually happened uh, in the Robert Mugabe's regime. And also, let's just go across to Kea from Melindia. You were very excited coming in this morning and talking about the change that it's going to be for Zimbabwe. So from your point of view, what does this mean for the Zimbabwean people? I think we can't run away from the political side of the matter. And, you know, we've had the opposition taking advantage, uh, being opportunistic, which is expected from an opposition to say, let us be careful, let us be cautious in regards to Emerson Mnangagwa's appointment to the presidency, he is still ZANU-PF, first and foremost. Uh, ZANU-PF is an entity, they're an organization, and a lot of what transpired under Robert Mugabe, we are fearful that will continue with mm -hmm. Emerson Mnangagwa, uh, Mnangagwa's presidency. However, I want to believe that, first and foremost, this has been a changing, a critical point in, in Zimbabwe's history, where we have changed the dynamics of ZANU-PF because as opposed to the opposition um, removing Robert Mugabe from power, ZANU-PF itself has removed him from power. So the assumption is that changes come from within. Mm. And I think we should give Emerson Mnangagwa that opportunity to prove himself as an individual and not as the entity of ZANU-PF because one thing we do know is that under Robert Mugabe's regime, people followed what Robert Mugabe said. A lot of people within the party were not individuals. They did not act as individuals. They acted under his authority. It, it has been very difficult for anyone to assert themselves or assert their own opinions as individuals.